Hi everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a rainbow lamb donut charm. I decided to make a new charm on my monster tail and since I love donuts, I wanted to make a super easy charm for them. And they're really easy and fun to make. You can make yours with sprinkles or without sprinkles. So the supplies you'll need are a monster tail or a rainbow loom, a rainbow loom hook or a crochet hook, and rubber bands. Today I'm using brown and white. And if you are adding sprinkles, you will need some seed beads and dental floss. So please get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. If you are using your rainbow loom, this is how you're gonna set it up. You're gonna start by taking out your middle row. Then you're gonna turn this row around so that the arrow is pointing away from you. And then you're gonna take out your big blue piece and move it down to one side for more support. Now I can use these eight pegs right here to make my donut. But on my monster tail, this is how I'm going to set it up. So I'm just going to take my first color, which is gonna be brown, because I'm making a brown donut. I'm just gonna go around and make X's. make simple X's from peg to peg all the way around. Now push them all down, and on your rainbow loom, this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna start on your first two pegs, make an X, then go up four pegs, then you're gonna come to the side, come back to your peg that you started on. And you're gonna do the same steps that I'm gonna show you on my monster tail for your rainbow loom. So I'm gonna start on this peg and I'm gonna go around in a clockwise rotation just laying my rubber bands normally. And do not push them down because you don't want your top row to get mixed in with your bottom row. Now I have a bottom row and a top row, and I'm going to bring my bottom two loops over the top on each peg. So let's start on our red peg. You're going to grab these two bottom loops over the top, then grab these two over the top, and go around. Now push them down. And remember, if you are using your rainbow loom, you're just gonna do the same exact steps that I'm gonna show you on my monster tail. Now I'm gonna do another row of brown. And remember, do not push them down because this is your top row and you don't wanna get it mixed in with your bottom row. And make sure you're going in a clockwise rotation, laying your rubber bands. Now I have a bottom row and a top row, and I'm going to bring my bottom two loops over the top on each peg.
Now push them down. We have two rows of brown already and we want to have three. So I'm going to do another row. Now we have a bottom row and a top row and we're going to bring our bottom two loops over the top on each peg. So now you just have three rows of brown and we're going to layer frosting color. Now we're ready to start the frosting. So for your frosting you can make it plain like I did on this one. And you can use any color you want for your frosting. Or you can add sprinkles like I did in this one. And if you are adding sprinkles this is how you'll attach the beads to your rubber bands. You're going to take your dental floss. Stick it in through a rubber band, then fold it in half so that the tips touch at the end. You're going to twist the end together, twist it, then you're going to grab a bead and you're going to put it on and pull it through. But don't pull it through all the way. You only need it some on this side, like that, because you're going to need it to sit like this on your loom. So don't pull it through all the way. And what I mean by that is there's going to be less of a rubber band on this side than on this side. So on this one, you're going to do the same thing. Pull this through. Put the two ends together, twist, grab your bead, slide it on, pull this through, not all the way through, and there should be less of a rubber band on this side than on this side. And you want to have 16 of them. I have mine already made. Let's get started. So you're going to take your loom and you're just going to place them on your loom. So I'm going to lay this one down and I'm going to have the left side of the rubber band on this peg and the more on this side. Now on my next one I'm going to flip it around so that the less is on this side and the more is on that side. So more and less. And I'm only doing this so that they don't line up evenly because I don't want them to line up evenly. So you're just going to sit like that and you're going to do them all. Just lay them down just like this. Less on this side, more on this side. Push it down, not all the way. Then less on this side and more on this side. And as you can see, they're not right on top of each other. They're next to each other, sort of. And you're just going to continue it.
Now we have a bottom row and a top row, but before we take our bottom loops over the top, I want to show you how you would lay them on your rainbow loom. So this is how you would do it. You'd make an X on these two pegs, but you'd make sure you use two rubber bands. You can do this with beads, like I just showed you, or you can do it without beads and just do plain frosting, but you're just gonna go from these two. Then you're gonna go around, lay your rubber bands, and then on this side, you're gonna make an X. But remember, these four, these three rubber bands on this side are normal, and so are these, but the two ends are X'd. And we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're gonna bring our bottom loops over the top on our rainbow loom, or your monster tail. You're gonna grab these two over the top, these two over the top, You're pretty much just grabbing your donut color over your frosting color. Now push them down and these are ready to get hooked. But if you are doing it on your monster tail, you're gonna start at the red, bring these two over the top, over the top. And it doesn't matter if the brown is covering your um, beads and your rubber bands here, it'll all get fixed. Just grab your bottom two over the top each time. Now push them down. And since we doubled our rubber bands, it's going to be a little bit tricky to hook them, but we're gonna get through this together. So you're gonna stick your hook in and you're gonna grab your bottom two loops. So there should be two loops at the bottom. You're just gonna grab them. And mine are headed in this direction. And they're not in this direction because it doesn't hook the loops behind them. It's more of like on this side. So I'm going to put it on this peg. And if you lose them, you can always just grab them. It happens. Then you're going to either separate it with your nail. Or you can just grab it from with your hook. Or you're just going to stick it in. Grab your next two bottom loops over the top and onto the peg next to them. Stick it in, grab your bottom two over the top. And I can tell that these are our bottom loops because it hooks all the loops behind it. You're just gonna continue grabbing your bottom two loops over the top and onto the peg next to them. Bottom two, over the top, next to it. Bottom two, over the top, next to it. And at the end, just make sure to go around and check it. Make sure that each Loop is hooked. Then you're going to stick your hook in, grab a rubber band, place it on your hook, pull it through, place it back on, and pull one loop through the other. Then pull that tight, and you're going to help your loops off. Now, once it comes off, you want to start by stretching it out. 
so that everything gets adjusted. Then you can roll it. And you can pinch it to your size or whatever you want. You can just fix it up a little bit. Then with this loop inside this loop, you're going to take your hook and you're going to stick it through the brown above it. Just stick it through the brown. And I'm going to grab my loop up through the top. Just pull it up. Like that. Just keep pulling until it's all the way out. And you're done if you wanted to add sprinkles. I've had some questions about how to hook off the monster tail bow in the flower. So if you had trouble with these, I'm going to hook it the same way you can hook it for these two. And you just need to follow these instructions. So to hook this off, we have on this peg a top loop that needs to be on the bottom. So we're going to grab these two top loops onto a peg and this will happen only if you laid yours in a clockwise rotation. Then you're going to hold that one, place this one onto the bottom and this one onto the top. All I did was switch their places. Now you're going to stick your hook in, grab these two bottom loops over the top and onto the peg in front of it. And obviously, if you're going to be making your bow or your flower, you're not going to have two loops to bring over the top. I'm just going to grab these two over the top. Next two. And to check that they're your bottom loops, you're just going to make sure that it hooks all the loops behind it. For all of them. Then I'm going to grab these two and go to the side. I'm going to stick it down, grab my next two over the top, next two, and back to where I started. So now I've hooked it all the way around, and on this peg I'm going to stick my hook through. Grab a rubber band, place it on your hook, pull this through all those rubber bands, and pull one loop through the other. Like that. Now you can help your loops off the loom. Now same thing for this one, you're just going to stretch it out, then you're going to curl it from the inside out, like that, and you can stretch it out more. To as big as you want. Then with this loop, you're going to stick it in the brown exactly where it is, so mine is right here. I'm going to stick it in the brown and pull my white through. Once you have it pulled through, just pull it all through so it will stay. To get more frosting to come out, you're going to pull from the inside out. Just stretch it out. Like that. This is what they look like when they're done and on. And remember, you can use whatever colors you'd like and you can make them into anything you'd like. You can make them into bracelets, necklaces, and much more. 
then I made mine into earrings. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is craftlifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!